So I just got the question, what if my insertion torque is too high on my implant and it's not fully seated yet? So like you're placing your implant and it hasn't gone down all the way to depth and it's already super, super high torque, like, 100, like it's 80, 100 or, or more or something, right? So it's really tight. What can you do to make that go in without damaging the bone? So here's what I would do. Okay, so let's pretend that you're placing your implant and once you get to this stage right here, if your implant is way too tight, like you feel like you're really having to crank down on this really hard and uh, maybe the patient feels pain or you're feeling like you're gonna crack something, the best thing to do is actually just take this out. So we're gonna go ahead and reverse our implant out. We're gonna back it out and we're gonna use the next size drill. Because right now, this implant is still usable. So we can take it out, put it into a little sterile compartment in your surgical kit. So you have this little, if you have like a little metal bin on your surgical kit, just drop it in there. Don't, don't put it on the table. And then just use the next size drill to go ahead and pass it through there. So you're gonna just take your drill and use the next size drill and you can just go kind of lightly. Um, if you feel like it's only not going in because of the bone perimeter right here, this little perimeter bone, you can just go in with your drill a little bit. Or if you feel like there is resistance down towards the apex, you can actually just use the next size drill up and go all the way to depth, right? So either of those ways will work and then go back and place your implant. But there's an, another option, so another way to do it. So if when you're originally placing your implant and it's pretty tight, but it's not so tight like you feel you're gonna break something, you're not, you're not really, really tight, right? You, after a while of doing enough implant surgeries, you'll, you'll get a good feel for what feels like, you know, 35 Newton centimeters, what feels like 40 Newton centimeters, what feels like 80. So if this is uh, still going in, but you're not going, say, above 60, what you can do is you can still place it, but you'll do, oops, let me turn this around. You can still place it, but you can do two rotations in, and then one rotation out. And then you go back, two rotations in, and then one rotation out. Right, so if you do that, you actually are able to expand the bone slowly, you do two rotations in, and then one out. So you keep doing that. You do two in, two in and one out, two in and one out. And eventually this will get all the way to depth. So like right at the crest or just under the crest of the ridge and you'll have safely placed that implant. Another, so the third option, that was option number two. The third option is take out the implant and use a, an implant tap. So an implant tap is basically like, it's basically a drill that has threads on it and it will carve threads into the prep for you. Once those threads are carved in, you can place your implant. The only time that I've ever really had to use that is for really, really, really hard bone. And that's typically like in the mandible, in this area right here. So sometimes this bone is really, really hard. Even if you used you, the, the proper drills and you're placing your implant into this bone, it still might feel like it's too tight, so you can use a drill tap. But you can alternatively, uh, uh, just use the next size drill up. So it's not super essential to use a tap, but you can use just the next size drill up before you place the implant to avoid that. So there's three different ways that I just showed you. The first way was just, just take your implant out and reprep. The second way was uh, just do two in and one out, two, in, two rotations in and one rotation out. And the third way was to use a drill tap. So those are the three things you can do if your implant is engaging a little bit too tight and uh, you want to make sure and then you want to place this safely without cracking anything.